people must have left Africa earlier than previously thought. Archaeologist Jeff Rose is trying to piece together the route taken by the first people out of Africa. He's looking for evidence where the journey began on the Arabian Peninsula. Up until just a couple years ago, most archaeologists thought the great human expansion out of Africa occurred along this coastline. People called it coasting out of Africa, coastal migration, coastal express. The idea was they had become seafarers. They had somehow developed aquatic subsistence. They could fish, they could collect shellfish along the coast, and that then led to this colossal expansion into Asia and the rest of the world. That's the theory, but is it really true? If an African culture came to this place, they're gonna leave evidence of that culture behind in their stone tool technology, um, and we should be able to see this, so it's testable. In 2010, Jeff Rose got funding to excavate in Oman and find that evidence. Anything on the shore itself would have been washed away long ago. But in the hills behind the shore, he expected to find some sign of prehistoric human life. Now this mountain range here rises up pretty steeply from the coast. It is full of caves, it's like Swiss cheese. We just thought it's a foregone conclusion. It's just a matter of time, not if we find anything, but when we find anything. We dug a test pit over there, we dug one there, we dug one there, we dug one on, on the slope leading up to the cave. In each case, we went down really deep, as far as we could go, and in all that time, we found nothing. We never found a single artifact. I remember just sitting there and saying, that's it, forget it. Forget the coast, we need to go somewhere else. We need a completely different strategy. The project was failing, so Jeff Rose headed inland. Over a hundred miles from the coast, in the middle of the desert, he came across a dried up riverbed. This is the Wadi Gadun, one of the biggest ancient river valleys in all of Arabia, perhaps. It's probably half a mile to the other side. It's dry now, but 100,000 years ago, this thing was full of water. All of Arabia was green for that matter. It was covered in savannas and lakes, and you have this vast network of, of river valleys that run through this plateau. 